Welcome to A Traveller's Guide to China. In these videos, I talk about my experience of traveling through China and look at some of the pictures that I took. In this city guide, we're visiting the city of Hangzhou. Hangzhou is in the east of China, in Zhejiang province. It's very close to Shanghai. It's a city of over 10 million people and Marco Polo described Hangzhou as a city of heaven when he visited here. Hangzhou has an international airport, which is where I arrived. It also has a high-speed train station with rail links out to the rest of the country and a metro or underground station you can use. So I arrived and went to my hotel and the first thing I wanted to do was visit the West Lake. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and perhaps Hangzhou's most famous tourist attraction. I went to the West Lake in the evening where they have a lights and water show. Unfortunately it was on the far side of the lake as you can see in the distance there. Um, I tried to walk around to it but by the time I got closer it had finished but you can see there are fountains and music and there were lots of people on the bank when I got round there. The next day I got my subway ticket to take a journey on the Hangzhou metro and went back to Westlake on the way passing this lovely little garden and here we are on the north bank of Westlake you can see lots of people there enjoying the weather and the sunshine Westlake has a few of these causeways that you can walk across such as this one and very famous for all the lotus plants that grow in the lake so I walked down the causeway on one side you can see the lake with uh, lots of boats and you go past a series of pagodas such as this one known as the Cranes Taking Flight Pagoda and on the other side you can see lovely views of the lotus leaves and the mountains and temples in the distance I walked around to the south of the island where I then took one of these boats on a, on a trip and we're going off to the island that you can see on the right hand side of the picture the island is called the three pools mirroring the moon and the island is kind of like a pretzel shape with three lakes inside the island itself so you can walk around the outer edge of the island and across the middle and enjoy the lakes and the views here we have a zigzag walkway across one of the lakes water lilies in the surface and you can see lots of people there walking around and enjoying the environment now from the edge of this island you can see this view which is a very famous view in China between these boats you can see there are three stone towers it's poking out of the water and this view is particularly famous because it is depicted on the back of the one yuan note the Chinese currency so there you can th see those three stone towers in the in Hangzhou's West Lake and it's a popular place for people to dress up and take their photos there are fancier boats available if you want to take one of these this golden dragon boat I was just on the plain wooden one beside it back at the south of the lake I saw this lovely garden Hangzhou has so many beautiful gardens and woodlands and park areas to explore and also in the south of the lake there is Jingzhu Temple but I decided to go over to the west of the lake and take a walk on Baoshu Mountain this mountain is beautiful uh, so many trees it's a nice cool place to go for a walk up the stairs there's several random buildings around this lovely archway that was at the top of one part of the hill and here we can see a tea plantation the man in the middle of the field was singing randomly I think he's the farmer of the tea and there are caves that you can explore 
various different buildings like this uh, rather unusual square shape pagoda and it will lead you to Baopu Temple beautiful little temple up in the mountain um, with these distinctive yellow walls and just outside the entrance to the temple was this metal pot for burning incense and inside little alleyways and and stairs it's sort of built on the mountainside so it's, it's quite steep and fits in with the shape of the mountain um, there's art on the walls as well depicting the history of the temple and then you carry on up to Hama Peak which is another popular spot and here you get great views of the West Lake you can see the whole of the lake and that is the causeway that I walked along earlier with a couple of bridges there and you can see all those little specks are the boats that we saw earlier uh, the rocks at the top of Hama Peak um, popular place for people to relax all looking at their phones instead of the beautiful scenery well that's okay and people climbing up the rocks so you're trying to walk down then you go across to the precious stone hill and you see this pagoda a very tall narrow tower on part of Bausch mountain known as precious stone hill and back down in the city had these delicious dumplings for lunch filled with um, pork and prawns these are steamed dumplings which are a, a local speciality the food in Hangzhou is really good it's kind of a little sweet not too spicy and just really tasty so then I decided to take a bus towards the river which is in south of the city and now I arrived at the Qiantang River which is a huge river Hangzhou is quite near to the coast so it's at the end of the river where it's at its widest and the reason I came to this part of the city was to visit the Romance Park, Romance Show at Songchang this is like a traditional dancing and music show that they put on and it's set within a, a kind of theme park with lots of things to, to see here's the bridge inside the Songchang Park lots of colours and restaurants here and places to see statues like these three lucky pigs it was the year of the pig at the time people walking around these are carrying a sedan chair and playing music there were also a couple of people performing on a balcony and you can see all of the people watching this is like a pre-show performance and there are stands where you can buy street food and there were also stalls selling clothes and lots of things inside the park and then the show itself begins and inside the auditorium the stage was massive and it moved around people walked through the crowd and on the stage people in traditional dress with lots of different scenery and there were battle scenes, romantic scenes all the while music playing it's a great atmosphere and the crowd seemed to really enjoy it and they had a fantastic laser show with these little figures standing in the middle and the lasers the green lasers pointing out into the crowd the video really doesn't do it justice unfortunately
but it was a magnificent show and all the lights came on at the end. It was expensive, but a wonderful experience. I then took the bus back to the south side of Westlake, where I could see the Leifang Pagoda lit up at night, and walked along the east bank of the Westlake. and across the Shuangto Bridge which is a, another causeway across the lake beautiful scenes at night with the lights everywhere and past the City God Pavilion and this photo taken on the Shuangto Bridge is one of my favourites because there's the couple there sitting looking at the phone I didn't know them, I just thought it looked like a nice framing of a picture but seconds after I took this picture the man dropped the phone into the lake and it was actually the girl's phone and she was not happy at all Well that's my short guide to Hangzhou unfortunately I really wasn't there for long enough I'd like to go back there and see some more things. There are lots of things that I, that I didn't have a chance to see, such as the wetland park and to go inside some more of the temples. I ended up spending most of my time at the West Lake, but it really is a wonderful place to go. If you like this video, press the thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more videos. Leave a comment if you want to below. And I will see you again next time on Traveler's Guide to China. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.